in this video I'm going to show you how you're going to formulate broiler feeds. I'm going to show you all the specific amounts of the ingredients that we are going to use. I am going to reveal to you the exact four formulas that you can use to grow your broilers from when they are day old until when they are ready to go to the market. So I'm going to show you the how to make the broiler starter chick mash, broiler growers mash, broilers finisher mash, and broiler fattener mash. And before we get started, please subscribe to our channel. It is absolutely free to subscribe. Please do it. Thank you very much. One, broilers starter mash. This broiler starter mash is fed to chicks from day old up to 16 days old. Feed contains a high protein level compared to other feed rations. This is because during the first seven days, 80% of the feed consumed is used for growth while 20% is used for maintenance. That is why it is very very important for our chick mash to be rich in proteins. So here is the formula to make 100 kilograms of broiler starter mash. Maize 61 kilograms, soya bean meal 18 kilograms, wheat offal 4 kilograms, full fat soya 13.5 kilograms, bone meal 2.5 kilograms, lysine 0.2 kilograms, methionine 0.3 kilograms, premixes 0.25 kilograms, salt 0.3 kilograms, that will add up to 100 kilograms. And as you'll be making these feeds, ensure that you mix the ingredients very, very well using a mixer. 2. Broilers Growers Mash Broilers Growers Mash is fed to chickens from age 17 days to 30 days. Here are the ingredients that you require in order to make 100 kilograms of Broilers Growers Mash. Maize 45 kilograms Soya meal 7.5 kilograms, wheat offal 12 kilograms, limestone 5 kilograms, bone meal 2.5 kilograms, palm kennel cake 12 kilograms, groundnut cake 15 kilograms, premixes 0.25 kilograms, toxic binder 0.15 kilograms, salt 0.3 kilograms, super leaf 0.05 kilograms. Methionion 0.15 kg, Lysine 0.1 kg. The total amount of these ingredients will be 100 kg. 3. Broilers Finisher Mash This kind of finisher mash is fed to broiler chickens from 30 days to 38 days. In most cases, the broilers finisher mash is in the form of pellet. Here are the ingredients and they are specific amounts that you're going to mix in order to make a hundred kilograms of broilers finisher mash maize 66 kilograms soya meal 18.55 kilograms groundnut cake 7 kilograms brewers dried grain 5 kilograms bone meal 2 kilograms oyster shell 0.5 kilograms Broilers premix 0.25 kilograms, salt 0.5 kilograms, methionine 0.1 kilograms, lysine 0.1 kilogram. This will make a total of 100 kilograms of broilers finisher meal. How to make the fattening meal or mash for your broiler chicken so that they can look huge and weigh more before you sell so that you can make more money. Fattening up your broilers may not work, especially if your birds do not have a good amount of fresh, muscle and strong bones. That is why it is very very important to feed your broilers with high quality starter and growers feed, so as to ensure that your broilers can be able to support the additional weight that is going to result from fattening your broilers from this fattening feed formulation. So. These are the five ingredients that you're going to use to make this fattening feed. 1. Roasted soya beans. 
these soya beans should be heated. This will help prevent or destroy the anti-nutritional factors. These are the typesin inhibitors, but also the roasting improves palatability. The second ingredient is corn or maize, the third groundnut cake or roasted groundnut, fourth palm kennel cake, fifth fish meal. Now that you know each and every ingredient, now I will show you the specific amount. What amount are you going to add or mix so that we can make the broiler fattening feed. Take the corn or maize, soya beans and the ground nut cake and then mix it in a ratio of 2 is to 1 is to 1. That means that if you are going to take 2 kilograms of corn, you are going to take 1 kilogram of soya beans and 1 kilogram of ground nuts cake. Then we are going to add a quarter of a kg of palm kennel cake and a half a kg of fish meal. Then you're going to mix very thoroughly. This fattening feed should be given to broilers as follows. During the first week, feed three times a day but feed lightly. Do not feed in excess, feed lightly. But you should also feed the normal feeds, the broiler starter. But feed this fattening feed lightly as a supplement. On the following weeks, Feed the broilers at least two times a day, but ensure that you don't don't feed this feed in excess because the broilers may gain a lot of weight, which may lead to lameness. Also, I might suggest that or recommend that you should feed this feed to those broilers birds that are kind of small or they're not growing faster, so that at least they can cope up or catch up the rest which are growing faster with the normal broilers starter feeds and the growers mash and finisher mash. Disclaimer about this fattening feed for broilers. This information is based on experience of a farmer. So first try it on small scale. Don't go all in because I'm not sure about this but I think this farmer has been having very good you know research going on and his results were very good very 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 good so i suggest that at least maybe you can take 10 or 5 broilers and then you can try it out but don't try it on all your broilers don't go all in with this fatten broiler mash but for the rest of the feed formulation that i've shared the broiler starter feed the growers mash the finisher mash that is perfect i've researched and that is what I usually recommend farmers to use. But for the fattening mash, I'm not sure about that. But I have gotten this information from a farmer who have been practicing broiler farming and poultry farming in general for more than 10 years. So please be advised and thank you for watching my video. See you on the next one. Bye. For more advanced farming information, kindly visit our website to download farming ebooks. Link on the description below.